Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making M&M cookies. So let's get started. First off, set that oven to 360. There's no chill time for these cookies, so they'll be ready in a snap. Into a large bowl, I'm gonna add one and a half cups or 180 grams of all-purpose flour. For con <laughs> it's been really rainy here, so even though we're inside, my salt uh, hardened up a bit. Anyways, one quarter cup, one quarter teaspoon, one quarter teaspoon of salt, a little contrast, one teaspoon of baking soda for leavening. Whisk it together. I'm gonna whisk this together. Set aside. Grab that mixer and some softened butter. Okay. Mm. All right, we're using a paddle attachment, and you can definitely make this with a hand mixer as well. Also, you want your M&Ms. Don't forget those. I have to tell you that I still miss the milk chocolate M&M. That was my favorite uh, as a child. Now there's all these nonsense colors that nobody cares about. <laughs> all right, one half of a cup, 113 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. It's a little cold today, I don't know why, but we're gonna mix this up and just give it a head start. Cream that butter up. Let me know in the comments if there's a favorite cookie you want me to make. That's good, all right. To that butter, we're gonna add 100 grams or half a cup of granulated sugar as well as one quarter cup of packed brown sugar. Looks like a hockey puck when you pack it in. We're gonna mix this up until it's creamy, light, and fluffy. So give it a good mix, and you will be scraping that bowl down at least once. I love the smell of M&Ms. I don't know what it is. This is not branded. You could use any candy-coated chocolate. By the by, these cookies are soft, chewy, and they have that wonderful crunch from the candy coating. So like right out of the oven, they're gooey on the inside with that candy crunch and a soft cookie. It's mm, very tasty. All right, back to mixing. Light and fluffy, mix on high. Time for one room temperature egg. It'll hold everything together. No shells. Also gonna add, <laughs> we're also gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Hmm. There we go. If you just mixed this right now, it would be like a light soup in the middle with hardened butter on the outside. Do yourself a favor, and just tap everything down and it'll mix up together much better. Mix, mix, mix. Looks good. It's time to measure out three quarters of a cup of M&Ms. We're gonna use some more, but those are gonna go on top of the cookie. <laughs> Scrape the bowl down, add the flour mixture. Ooh. All of it. We're gonna mix this until it is almost combined because the last step is to fold in those delicious M&Ms. Those delicious generic candy coated chocolates. <laughs> That's good. So right now, if you take a look, you can see that there's little pockets of flour hither and thither, and it's not fully mixed in yet. We're gonna mix it in once all the M&Ms are there just like any kind of bread or cake. No, no, no. Just like any kind of cake or cupcake, you don't want to over mix your dough. Breads you do want to mix because it's called kneading and developing gluten. Add those m ms in. Now get a spatula and fold them in. So just distribute them and as you do that, the mixture will finish mixing. It'll become homogenous. No more flower pockets. T 
Time to scoop up those cookies. We want roughly two tablespoon sized balls of cookie dough. This is really nice and soft to work with, but won't stick to your hands too much. So give them a scoop, roll them out, and place them about two inches apart on your baking sheet. A little bit big. <laughs> and you can line your baking sheet with either a silpat, which is a silicone mat, or parchment paper. I like both, but the silicone mat can give you better results sometimes. My cookies are almost ready to go into the oven, but first they need to be camera ready and a little bit more pretty. So we're adding some M&Ms on top, just like you would for a chocolate chip cookie. The only difference is there's even more color. <laughs> These cookies are ready to go into the oven, 360 for about nine minutes or until the edges are just turning golden and set. In you go. Your cookies don't need any chill time. You can bake them off right away. But if you pop them into the fridge for about 10 minutes after rolling them, you're gonna find it has a nice thick center and it's a little bit more chewy. So 10 minutes might do you right. Chilled cookie right into the oven. You can see they're basically the same, but the chilled cookie has a thicker middle and it's a little bit chewier. So I might say just 10 minutes in the fridge will do you right. Hmm. Oh my gosh, the crunch of that candy coating with this soft, chewy cookie and those bits of chocolate everywhere is just amazing. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, check out my cookie playlist.